This video is brought to you by jvjujitsuonline.com, the home to all JV Jiu Jitsu content, your source for strike based Jiu Jitsu. Check it out. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we will be discussing strategical basics, the differences in strategy, part two, bypassing the legs. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are discussing strategical basics. There are two basic strategies I want to discuss in this video. The first strategy that I want to discuss is the master plan strategy. So from the guard, we need to bypass the legs. I no longer like to say passing the guard. I believe that there is a way to completely neutralize the guard. So I'm saying from now on, bypassing the legs rather than passing the guard. So let's go ahead and get started. Bypassing the legs is the last battle before arriving at the central hub. A huge amount of time is dedicated to bypassing the legs. The unattainable angle discourages leg involvement. Regardless of the route, bypassing the legs is inevitable. There are four ways to bypass the legs. Over the legs, when the feet are down. Under the legs, when the feet are up. Through the legs, from a split. And around the legs, when the knees are together. Pinning ankles prevents the butterfly guard. Pinning the knees together is a form of optimized control. There are two primary bypassing strategies. There is the split pass series and then there is the hook pass series, and they do work together. The split pass series bypasses range one at the feet and stabilizes range two, which is at the knee and the shins. It stabilizes the opponent's hips to prevent them from moving side to side and forward and backwards. It allows multiple opportunities for incremental advancement. You can get to, from the ankle to the knee, from the knee over the knee to the hip, and from the hip over to the neck and head. Highly effective, but some opponents can counter this strategy when attacked directly. The hook pass series starts to generate fatigue by activating the central point. This is a simplistic and effective passing strategy. Outside leg control is essential to maintaining the central point activation and to capitalize on overreach. This baking pattern tricks the opponent into giving you the split. So that was my video on strategical basics, the differences in strategy, part two, bypassing the legs. I will say that regardless of which route you decide to take, whether it's the traditional route, which is passing the guard to side mount and moving from side mount to mount, or the master plan route, which is Passing the guard to side mount, from side mount you generate a turn to turtle, and from turtle if necessary we take the back. Regardless of which route you decide to take, bypassing the legs there are constants. In my opinion there is a central path to bypassing the legs, and that includes the hook pass and the split pass, which we discussed in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all real soon.